this is Aaron with Simply Java and today we're going to be working on a fun little project called Piggy Bank. <laughs> um, so this project is going to be exactly what it sounds like. It's just going to be a little piggy bank app that we're going to piggy bank project rather that we're going to use to take withdrawals, um, allow deposits, view balance and uh, we'll also do some goal progress stuff as well. So we'll be able to check the goal of your savings. Um, so without further ado, if you're new to the channel, just real quick, uh, all of our projects are console based. They are designed for individuals who are new to programming in Java. Um, they're designed for people to come right along and be able to pick up on their first project. So uh, we don't use any advanced topics. We try to keep everything as straightforward and as simple as possible. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and get into the project. Um, again, I'm gonna be using Eclipse for all of my projects. So let's go ahead and create a new Java project. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and name my project Piggy Bank YouTube. Uh, you can name yours just piggy bank that is perfectly fine uh, and let me actually use correct casing piggy bank you two all right perfect um so camel casing there let's go ahead and go to the next we'll click finish and we'll let that go ahead and do what it does <laughs> All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and go into our source folder. We will right click, click new, and we will create a new, um, we're gonna do a, do a new package, okay. So this package uh, for me, I'm going to name mine com.simplyjava.youtube.piggybank.tools. Good. Uh, your package should typically be something that is unique to you. Um, but in this case, this is just a YouTube tutorial project. So it is a practice project. If you want to copy mine, you definitely are able to do that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click finish. And we will go ahead and right click on that package we just created. We'll go to new and we'll create a new class. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and name our class. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name mine, um, let's just go with Piggy Bank. All right, perfect. We will make sure to check this public static void main string arguments um, box here. This allows us to go ahead and create the main method so we don't have to type all of that out. If you're new to Java, then uh, it may be a a little bit alarming that may sound like a lot but essentially what you need to know is that that is where all projects start in Java all right so let's go ahead and remove this comment and we're going to get started so the first thing we're going to create is we're going to rather declare is our variables and actually we only have one variable we're going to declare for now and that's going to be user input okay we will not initialize it at this time. That's where we're gonna hold um, all of the input that we submit through the console. All right, um, the second thing we're gonna do is just create two objects. The first is going to be a scanner object. This is how we're gonna actually get the user input. We're gonna use this object to access um, the methods we need to get user input. So we'll do new scanner. And we're gonna do system.in and semicolon. All right, uh, and then the second object is going to be our piggy bank um, object. This is how we're going to access the methods we create in our piggy bank class. And we will name this piggy bank equals new piggy bank. All right, perfect. So um, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we'll just create a couple of um, system.out.println statements. Uh, so essentially we want to print out some information onto the screen to give context on what the user needs to do next. All right, so we're going to do system.out.println and here we're going to say, uh, we're actually not going to say anything. We're just going to put a bunch of asterisks. All right, this is just going to help with visibility. Um, 
you don't have to do that, but I've found recently that it actually helps a little bit in reading a bunch of lines of information on the console. So, you know, if it's something that works for you, do it. Um, so, yeah. And then the next line will actually be in, I'm sorry, let's do system .print line. The next line is going to actually be a welcome. We'll say, what is your savings goal? Question mark. All right. And we will go ahead and in that line, let's add a couple more asterisks and just make it even there. All right. Perfect. We can copy this line. As you know, if you've seen my first video, I'm actually not a fan of copy and pasting code, especially when you are in the learning phase. I feel like it is better to um, type everything out, even if it seems repetitive. That's a good thing because repetitive helps you learn. So um, I did copy there because they, they are asterisks. So there's really not a need to, you know, <laughs> type all that out again. But for the most part, I will type out most of the code in this tutorial all right so the next thing we're going to do uh, we're actually not going to do that step just yet so we're going to go ahead and declare some class variables global variables all right um, so the first variable we are going to declare is going to be a private double balance uh, so this variable is how we're going to hold the balance information for our piggy bank. Um, the second will be a goal variable, and that is what we will use to hold the value for our goal. Um, private, we'll do a double again, and we'll do goal equals 0, 0. 0.0. All right, perfect. So the next thing we want to do, uh, we want to go ahead and create a couple of methods in our piggy bank class. Um, the first of which is actually going to be a get balance method. This is, as it sounds, how we will get the balance whenever the user chooses that they want to view their balance. Okay, so this method is going to be a private double, uh, and we'll call this get balance. And it does return a double uh, value, so that's why we did private double. Um, we're going to we don't want to pass anything through um let's see we don't have any parameters rather so let's go ahead and just return uh let's just return balance okay so all this says is whatever our balance is at the time that the user calls this method just return that value back to the user all right so pretty straightforward nothing um, too crazy there so we'll just go ahead and space for visibility uh, the next method we're going to create is a set balance method so as you can see we have a getter and we have a setter uh, so our set balance is actually going to say private void set balance and we will do double and we'll call this transaction comma and we will actually do also a boolean variable um, this is going to be money added and I'll explain what we're doing here in just a second let's go ahead and create that um, we're not returning anything hence the name void so uh, what this method is going to do when the user whenever we have any changes in our balance so if the user withdraws money or if the user deposits money we want to make sure we update our balance. Um, so that's what this method essentially will do. The first variable here, the first parameter rather here, uh, transaction is the amount of money that we're gonna be dealing with. So the value that we're gonna be dealing with. The second parameter says, is this money going to be added to the balance or are we subtracting this money? Meaning if we're adding it, I was, it was a deposit. If we're subtracting it, then it was a withdrawal. 